now look at the headlines. Vasco rape victim girl reveals shocking details, says the culprit used to stalk her from some days before committing the crime. He has an accomplice who roamed with guitar, prudent, exclusive. Sources say some people use the fake certificates to get government jobs. Police face challenge of tracing the misuse of the certificates. Nation celebrates 64th Republic Day. Goa Governor Bharatweer Wanchu speaks on special security for women and children and provision in the budget for scheduled tribes. CCP's decision to ban film shooting in Panji hits a roadblock. Fraternity condemns. Opposition criticizes. Livelihood of thousands at stake. Opposition Congress welcomed paperless assembly session, launches its website in a renewed format, says it's ready for the big battle from 28 January to 28 February. And Goa Football Development Council launches training jersey. Barpoi Centre trainees get football kits. Parents are delighted with GFDC. Now the news in detail. The father of the victim girl has made another shocking revelation to Pruden. He has confirmed that the rapist had an accomplice. The girl sketched other accused with a guitar. Both accused met the victim girl for consecutively three days before committing the crime and gave her chocolates. When the father himself took the girl into confidence, he was taken aback. Father confirmed to us that there were two people who were involved in this heinous crime. The girl has drawn sketch of the other accused and it reveals that the other guy is a guitarist. Girl also told her father that both used to visit her in school compound or outside and give her chocolates. We revealed that the man is a culprit in the past year. We were able to get a lot of people in the past year. Football ground, recess time, we were able to get a lot of people in the school. We were able to get a lot of people in the past year. We were able to get a lot of people in the past year. We were able to get a lot of people in the past year. We were able to get a lot of people in the past year. तांचे बरबर आने को एक मनी सास बुर्गो आसला मन सांगला था ने आने तो बुर्गो ताचे आईडेंटिफिकेशन सांगला था ने कि ताचे तो गया गिटार बा शोल्डर आ क्लाउन आसला मन अच्छे था ने सांगला। Now the question is where is the other accused? How did both entered school compound and contacted the victim without any hassle? Is the sketch given by school principal and a teacher of that guitarist? If it is true, then how did he elope from school after committing the crime? A reporter from Vasco, Surendra Madkaikar. Crime branch has cracked down the madgaon based fake certificate racket, but many questions are yet to be investigated. Question is not only that how the accused were running this racket, but bigger question is that whoever had bought those fake certificates, where they have misused it. Sources say that some people use the certificates even to get government jobs. In the case of fake certificate racket, during the initial investigation, it has come to light that they used to supply fake certificates using name of nine noted universities of country and states education boards. Now the major questions to be investigated by the police is, were those certificates printed by them or they had a nexus with those universities and boards? Were they selling fake certificates only in Goa or in other states also? Were they selling fake certificates of professional courses also? 
but the bigger question is how many fake certificates have been sold by them till date and who has bought those fake certificates and where they have misused it after a long follow up crime branch on thursday evening conducted a raid at madgaon base sj career academy and busted a fake certificate racket police also arrested three accused including mastermind azim beg To catch the culprits police approached SJ Career Academy posing as customer and they promised to supply a SSC passing certificate at a cost of rupees 40000 and a graduation passing certificate of the recognized university for 80000 rupees first they took 25000 rupees as advance from the decoy customer and on thursday they called to supply the fake certificate at that moment police conducted raid and caught the accused with fake SSC passing certificate of Madhya Pradesh Board of Secondary Education Police have seized many fake certificates during the raid. Whoever had bought those fake certificates must have bought to misuse them. The bigger question that now is how many fake certificates have been sold till date by them and where they have been used. Mukesh Kumar for Prudent. 64th Republic Day was celebrated all over the country. In Goa, Governor Bharat Veer Vanchu, in his speech, articulated the need to set up special security for women and children. He also called for a provision in the budget for scheduled tribes. Governor unfurled the tiranga on Republic Day at the parade ground in Panji. Governor Bharat Veer Vanchu unfurled the national flag at the 64th anniversary of Republic Day. Different cultural activities were performed by the school students. The function was held at the parade ground at Kampal in Panji. Public minds are perpetuating heinous crimes on our innocent women and children in some parts of the country, including Goa. I feel concerned that the morbid mentality and brutal behaviour among some people is assuming alarming proportions. This needs to be arrested. to save our national dignity and ensure the security of our women and children government is also concerned and committed to the welfare of the scheduled tribes government has stepped up the allocation in the budget of 2012-13 for the overall development of the scheduled tribe population government has also initiated programs specially targeted to the welfare of the socially and economically backward sections in society The Republic Day function commenced by airing out the tricolor balloons as a sign of Republic India. Republic Day was also celebrated at Mapsa. Republic Day is the day on which the Constitution of India came into force in the year 1950. Reporters Mahesh Kadi, Shamsundar Fate with senior video journalist Tulsidas Chari. The decision of the Corporation of City of Panji to ban shooting of films in the city area has snatched the livelihood of hundreds of people. Not only Panji-based film production professionals but even Youth Congress has criticized the stand of the CCP. Citing the problem of traffic congestion, Corporation of City of Panji has decided to ban shooting of films in the city area. This decision has created a major question of livelihood of Panji-based film production professionals. Film fraternity is contending that this decision has snatched livelihood of approximate 2000 professionals. Sagran favorite place Panji actually. Sagra film valanchi. Ata 30 place jar tumhi ban kela tar shooting hi jaopachi ban jatli. Tar ek shooting hai aaj aaj tumka khabar na ki aaj jav jav 150 te 200 koti cha turnover asa Goa ek varsha so shooting hai so. CCP people whoever the councillors or mayor whatever it is can provide the jobs which we can provide i am challenging them if they can give even 50 jobs 50 jobs 50 for the panjim people we are giving almost 2000 people in panjim job panjim santinesh taligaon mercies all people junior artists characters it's a request to the government or the ccp that don't yeah don't go against it 
come and uh, sort it out in a proper way so that all of us are like happy and get employment get employed or whatever it should be it should not affect so many people at least sandeep kotecha also says that decision of the ccp is contrary to goa government's policy to attract film production houses to shoot in goa this decision will definitely cause major loss of revenue to the goa government entertainment society of goa and ccp itself the esg charges 10000 rupees per day for us and this courtyard which you are saying and the gmc old gmc building makizana palace church and everything every place including inox is been used for the shooting purpose and the revenue coming to them is more than 30 lakh rupees a year from this this small place i'm talking now ccp is charging 50000 rupees per day this decision is also taking political color as youth congress has also criticized this decision and demanded chief minister's intervention in this matter it's only because of this media through media tourism ji asa amche goya amche goya che sobit ka hai jao ter darya jao amchi jhada scenic beauty ji asa goichi that is only depicted through the shootings where the whole of the country and the world can see the beauty of goa professionals associated with film production are also fearing that following the decision of ccp to ban film shooting in panji city area other panchayats may also ban shooting in respective areas with video journalist dinesh karpe mukesh kumar for prudent it's time for a short break stay tuned